Natalie and welcome back to my sewing vlog The Seaside Sewist. So this vlog is all about my sewing plans for August. So I've only got two plans at the minute because they're both quite an involved pattern and I need to take my time with them and they both have elements in that I haven't done before so I really need to concentrate on them. The one that I'm going to start with first and the one I'm going to start sewing first is the Elsie dress by Sew Over It so I'll put a picture in here of that one and I'm making this for a family wedding um, on the 2nd of September. So I'm going to make that Elsie dress in this cotton sateen, two metres from Lamazi a couple of years ago and then two metres from Minerva because I really wanted to use this fabric but you need nearly four metres and I stupidly thought I would get something with a lined bodice and a full skirt out of two metres. So it's on a black background and it's got these big bouquets of flowers on. I've then got some like new shoes that are a a, like a clog base and then a black sort of top open toe and then I'm gonna maybe just get like a fascinator or something in either the pink or the blue or you know I think probably the pink just to pick out that pop of color so that is my first plan um, I've in the middle of doing um, a wearable, not a wearable twirl, a twirl of the bodice because it's really fitted. So I'm using a So Haley Jane cotton from a couple of years ago, this one here, um, to have a go of the bodice first. And it's got. Um, an invisible zip. I've, I've never done an invisible zip so I'm going to do all that as a practice first before I then go into the fabric. Worst case is that the dress doesn't work out and I'll just buy a high street dress but I would really like to make something quite fancy myself for that. So my next plan I showed this as um, a Minerva haul is same sort of very similar pattern and it's this Vogue V9100 and I want to sew this up to join in with the Minerva sewn with Vogue challenge um, where you've got to post to make in September so this is literally the same pattern but it's in two different lengths um, I'm maybe going to make that longer length so that um, is going to be made up in this fabric which is a broad cloth so a lot of structure to it so I think it'll suit the skirt lovely so this is like a I don't even know what you would call it like um, a petrol blue background and then it's got a couple of different um, types of flowers on there and some leaves and I've got three meters of that to make that Vogue pattern there um, so I would love to get that made up in August as well so as I say they're just my two firm plans for now because they're both very involved, they're both where I'd like to do a bit more of slow sewing rather than maybe on a day off spend a whole afternoon on it. I think I'd rather come in from work every night and maybe do half an hour steps so, so much of the bodice one night another night putting the invisible zip in um, when it's finished leave it for a couple of days and then spend a night hemming it rather than trying to get that done in 10 minutes um, 
I have done another vlog um, that I'll link in the comment box about slow sewing and the benefits that 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 has for me slow sewing um, but I think very much the sew over a dress for the wedding is the one that kind of comes first so if that takes me all month and then this ends up going into September as long as I post this on Minerva in September then that's absolutely fine I'm, I'm really really happy with that one so not a very long vlog because I don't have a lot of plans there but they are for me quite huge plans so thank you very much for watching do you like the fabrics that I've paired with the patterns have you sewn this Vogue pattern have you sewn the Elsie dress by sew over it is there any tips that you can give me is there any tips on putting an invisible zip in or any great YouTube tutorials that you think would help me with that because I put a fly zip in which some people might find quite daunting um, and I actually I, I think my fly zip was the sew over it me your jeans and I actually I think I've just answered my own question there because Lisa from sew over it has probably done a sew along on the Elsie dress and will probably have a great tutorial on how to put that zip in so if I find that helpful and I'll go and have a look at that now I might uh, link that in the description box for anybody else who may be sewing that dress or thinking of sewing that dress and that it might be helpful to you so please give me a like and a subscribe if you have enjoyed this video and I will see you soon in my next video thanks a lot bye